as we know the first one is just the type one this is the second uh, type called as use class and this is the continuation of the same provider thing so the use class is nothing but the same um, provider however it has a different way of uh, doing it and there is a typical example for that for example like you never do that one right use class as logger and also uh, type a provider as a logger provider as a logger mm -hmm. right you will not do that mm -hmm. but you, there are some requirement like I said you there are some requirement when you say you have been logging let's say uh, with the with the in memory for example so suppose your logger class is like this um, class logger and then there was a method called as log and in that method we used to do let's say console dot log message so we have a class where you have a function called as log and it takes a message and it does the in memory logging means just console dot log mm -hmm. or just assume that it's a console logger let's say right now requirement changed now it is going to be in production and you are no more developing and now they will say that we now need to implement SQL logger or let's say let's go with the HTTP logger whenever log happens we have to make HTTP call and put the log so that it goes to the all the way to the da database via some web API mm. correct so in order to achieve that and your all of the components that you have written is something like this like in all of your components uh, for example if this is a component and let's say this is a hello component I'm just giving a fake name and in this component you have a constructor right and in the constructor we are asking logger private logger logger in the hello component we are asking logger and then we are using it right logger dot log I am logging some message like I have initialized myself so this is one example but let's say in your project throughout your project you have been using uh, this logger as a dependency injection as this class exact class name is logger and it's like uh, let's say thousands of components you have finished your project completely now requirement changed and they are saying now we want the SQL logger uh, sorry HTTP logger rather than the in memory logger how do you achieve it? Like changing the code to um, provide and the class name and then use class or something, mm -hmm. and then changing wherever we need uh, that class, that instance name here. Like instead of logger, mm -hmm. that will come here, the new one. Do you want to change this also? If you did that, then you are losing that uh, software programming engineering that we said, right? Programming principle is mm -hmm. when you are changing something. Should then you should not change many things, right? So let's oh, say yeah, then I'm this name will be same the logger exactly. and then use class exactly. name will be different. So we will use inner returns or something, some other concept saying that <coughs> uh, and this is that one like uh, that polymorph polymorphism thing is like once you have a class defined and all of our components are using it, tomorrow if I want to just change the behavior of that same object rather than the um, the new thing is added. Let's say there is nothing added. They are saying all of them are same, but rather than logging it into the memory, they will log it into the uh, HTTP. So it's like behavior is changed. So in object-oriented principle, what we do when behavior is changing, we we prefer polymorphism. We say let's do polymorphism. Polymorphism means let's create a separate class and and in and inherit it from the base class, and so that you have a two classes now. However, if you have two classes, you can anytime switch them without changing any of the code base, right? And that switching you can do from dependency injection side. You can decide now no longer um, in memory logger is injected rather than this class is injected. So wherever it is used, right? So in order to achieve this, let's say if this is a requirement and then I do not want to change any of my component module or anywhere that I have used logger and still they want to change it to HTTP logger and, and you also do not want to do this okay, okay one, one um, intelligent answer could be like I'll just go here and change it to HTTP logger done this is one place change <coughs> this is one intelligent quick answer but this is no more valid because they may say that no at that mode I want it to be in memory but when it goes to production I want to be uh, HTTP logger right 
So those are the stuff. And you want to achieve it in proper way, like object-oriented programming principle way. It's not like yeah, I can put if else here, if it is that, do this, and else I do HTTP logger. So again, this class, if you do both here in this class, you are violating SRP principle, single responsibility chain uh, principle. Like this class is now changing with two reasons. When HTTP is changed, this will be changed. When in-memory stuff changed, this will be changed. That we do not want again. So we want to create two different logger. However, uh, we want to not even change these guys. So let's see how we do. Like you said, exactly. So what I will do here is, so if provider was like this, like uh, say suppose we register at module level, let's say this time. So let's say you have uh, ng module, uh, and inside that module label, provider. we have a provider. And in the providers list, we had a log. log like this, right? Now we are saying let's do um, let's do this one differently. So either you can say logger, and then uh, as a provider, so we'll say provider logger, and I can delete this logger registry that I had, and then here I will say use class, and here I can put some good name, the name that I wanted. So I end up creating a class called as uh, HTTP logger, HTTP logger, which extends this logger class that I have originally I had, and then here since it is extending, I can overwrite some of the function, right? Log function. I take this message, and then I'll do uh, web API dot uh, post like this. This is my new HTTP logger, where I'm doing web API dot post the message. And now I'm saying is I can just replace it by this one uh, new type, uh, new provider called as use class. So this use class will give you that opportunity, right? So this is using extend, that means the function name is same. And if function name is same, you can always use use class and you can say HTTP. use HTTP logger. And this opens the door to change any time to whatever thing they want. And this is very powerful. So now you can change anything. Which are, so tomorrow if they want some different behavior again, let's say now you want to log it into file. So just behavior is changing. Remember this thing, when your um, type is changing, just the type, like now it is HTTP, now it is a type is a file, tomorrow it will be in memory, something like that, then it's just the polymorphism thing where you just do inner returns and do that and then you flip it here that's the use case right so so you had a project where you have a one class called as logger and you want to now do HTTP logger so this is that change that you will do right now HTTP logger is active and it will work and if it is going to production it will log with HTTP logger tomorrow if you want to again switch to console log you go here and change the code to uh, regular logger Right, and we will learn how to dynamically inject the regular logger or the uh, HTTP logger without even changing uh, anything. That also we will learn. Now, if you want to do the console logger again, then you have to change this provider, right? But that is not acceptable also because once it is deployed to dev, you do not want to change it again to deploy to QA. There should not be source code change to just deploy to again QA, right? It should be like continuous deployment. Once you deploy to dev. Just release it to QA and then go to prod without even touching the code. But this code is also not perfect. However, <coughs> however, this is solving at least this problem that that I didn't change any of the component and I just added a new class and I solved that problem. That will solve another problem where there is a requirement like we have to switch at any time dynamically without even touching the code. And that also how it is addressed in future providers. We will see.